Okay, so this is going to be an update video for the Human Centipede 3. I'm going to be basically saying everything that has been uh, released, like all the information that has been released about the third film so far. I mean, check the, like, whatever date this video is uploaded. Like, so uh, all the information that has been released up to that point in time is what I'm going to basically say. Uh, so I'm, I am excited for the third movie. I, I did like the two mo first two movies. Uh, I'm t I, I totally understand why people didn't like them. But I, I like them, so... Yeah, so I've been wanting to do an update video for a while, um, mainly ever since they revealed who was returning for the third film. I never got around to doing it, so here I am. Considering a big piece of information has just been released, I really want to do it now, so uh, what, what I'm going to do for the first part of the video, I'm just going to very quickly go through everything that's been released about the film. And then for the second half of the video, I'm going to be going back through the information that has been released and offer my thoughts and opinions on it. So if you're not interested in what I have to say, like my thoughts and opinions and stuff, then you can just leave the video after I've revealed, after I've said everything that has been revealed about the film. But I guess if you're interested in what I have to say, like my opinions on things, I guess you can just stay to the end of the video. So that's how it's going to work. I'm going to quickly go through everything that has been revealed. Okay, so it's called The Human Centipede 3, The Final Sequence. Apparently it's the final film, as you could guess from the title. Apparently it's a lot sicker than the first two films, which again is to be expected. It's set in America. The tagline is 100% politically incorrect. Um, it's going to have saturated colours. Um, I think they, they, they're going to like enhance the footage to have saturated colours. I think that's what they mean by that. Not that they're going to have naturally saturated colours, that they are going to like enhance the footage, footage to have saturated colours. And what else? Uh, oh yeah. Okay, it's going to have a strange happy ending according to Tom Six, so that's kind of uh, weird, like what does he mean by that? Okay, so this is just two more pieces of information, I'm trying to get through these as fast as I can. So basically, the this made me really excited. Dieter Laser, I'm not sure how to, how to pronounce that, Dieter Laser, who played Dr. Heiter in the first film, and Lawrence Harvey, who played Martin in the second film, will both be returning for the third film. And they will both be the main characters in the third film. Uh, they played the evil doctors in the first and second movie, for those of you who don't know. So basically the villains of the first two movies will be returning for the third film. And also Tom Six, the director of the films and writer, will be uh, playing a role in the third film. He himself will have a cameo. Or at least he will be, like, he might have a main, he might be one of the main characters, he might be a supporting role. We don't, he hasn't said yet, but he will be in the film. And finally, this is the piece of information which blew my mind. Uh, the amount they've revealed, Tom Six on Twitter revealed how many people will be in the centipede. This kind of blew my mind. I wasn't expecting this. So f the centipede in this film will be made out of over, yes, over 500 people. And yeah, over 500 people. So I'll give my opinion on that in a minute. Okay, so that's all the information that's been released. Uh, I guess I'll... If you want to just check out the description if you want to see everything summed up in like text form so you can just read it off there really quickly. I'm going to go back over everything and give my opinion now. Okay, so it's set in America. Uh, okay, not really anything to say on that. Like, it's cool that he's having each film take place in a different location. So the first one was set in Germany, the second one in London, third one's America. So I don't really have anything to say about that, but it's kind of cool that he's having a, a different location for every film. Um, so it's apparently the final film, as we all know with most horror, horror series, they do continue. Like Saw will continue, obviously. Uh, like Friday the 14th, uh, Friday the 13th, part 4, Nightmare on Elm Street, like, you know, the list goes on. Like, But I, personally, I believe Tom Six when he says this will be the final film. He does seem, like, pretty serious about that. I don't know, maybe he'll make another Centipede film in, like, 20 years or something. But I do think this will be the final film for a very long time, at least. Like, maybe they'll make a remake in the end, I don't know. Okay, so it's going to have a strange happy ending. I'm not quite sure what he means by that. Obviously, he's trying to be uh, ambiguous on purpose here. Uh, but it's interesting. A strange happy ending. Like, it's got me thinking what he means. I have a theory on that. I'm going to say that at the very end. Okay, uh, so sicker than the previous two films, I believe him. He said the second film was sicker than the first film. And, he, of course, obviously it was. Like, there's no denying that. That's a fact. I mean, unless you're into the, like, this, you could argue stuff about the psychological stuff that but what happened in the second film is undeniably more disturbing than the sec than the first film like you might be arguing that oh well the psycho the psycho psychological stuff 
this do affected me more than the on screen stuff. It's just like, yeah, sure, but what happened was still more disturbing than the first film. Okay, so the tagline now, it's a hundred percent politically incorrect. So this everything at the end here, I'm kind of grouping together. So I'm thinking they're going meta again. Okay, so Lawrence Harvey is returning and he played Martin. So because in the Human Centipede 2, for those of you who don't know, the Human Centipede 1 was just the film. Uh, while I don't think Tom, Tom Six hasn't said this, but I think the Human Centipede 3 is... In the Human Centipede 3's universe, the Human Centipede 1 and 2 are going to be films within the Human Centipede 3's universe. Um, like, I don't see why it wouldn't be like that. Like, it seems like that's the pattern they're going for. For example, Lawrence Harvey, who plays Martin, is going to be in the third film. Like, yes, he did survive at the end of the second film. Like, if you try to think about it, like, it makes sense for Dieter Laser to return, who played Dr. Hyde in the first film. Yes, he was killed at the end of the first film, but because the second film's in the universe, where the first film's just the film, the actor D Dieter Laser could return in the second or third film's universe. But, like, uh, basically, the question is, how the hell would Martin return? Because he lives in London. Um, I don't understand how the police wouldn't catch him after what he's done. And also, like Tom Six said, the third film takes place in America, so how would Martin get to America? Like, would he just go to the airport, hop on a plane? Like, why why would he go to America? To get away from the police or what? So I'm guessing the third film will be in a universe where the first two films are just films. Okay, so the, so let's go on to Lawrence Harvey and Dieter Leiser, Dieter Leiser or whatever, returning. So they're going to be in the f third film, and I'm assuming it's meta, so... Lawrence Harvey and Dieter Laser will be playing themselves, not the evil Doctor characters. And they are the main characters of this film. So I'm assuming... Um, so what I'm thinking... And also Tom Six, the director, will be playing himself as well. And he will be in the film. I'm hoping he's a... They haven't said he's a main character. I'm hoping he is though. Because what I, when I first heard about the third film, I was kind of hoping that he would be the villain of the third film. I, th I think that would be cool to see, see Tom Six act as the villain in the third film. And he's the one creating the centipede. Like, he goes insane and puts all of the censors... Because, you know, the censors banned the second film in the UK for a while and released a bunch of spoilers online. And Tom Six was really pissed off at that. So I, I was kind of thinking maybe he would put all of the censors into a centipede for the third film. Or maybe even his critics. Like, that, that, I think that would be cool. Like, putting the censors and the critics into a centipede. Because, you know, the critics don't like uh, the human centipede films. So I, I was thinking that would be cool. Heck, um, they might be doing that, I don't know. So what I'm thinking is, uh, Lawrence Harvey, like, I'm interested in what, like, who's the villain going to be? Like, is Lawrence Harvey and Dieter Laser going to team up to create a centipede? Like, I'm thinking maybe they'll go insane and mimic their characters. So they'll be, they'll go insane, mimic their characters and create a centipede. Because when Dieter Laser was killed off at the end of the first film, I was really disappointed because, he, you know, he's a great, like, he, I think he's a great actor. A lot of people do. And I was just really disappointed, like, same with Lawrence Harvey. So at the end of the second film, he survives, but I was kind of thinking, oh, okay, so for the third film, Tom Six is going to have a new villain. And I was just kind of really, because I really liked Lawrence Harvey and uh, Dieter, Dieter Laser as the villains. Like, I think they, they were great actors. They just did such a good job at playing the villains. And I was just really disappointed. Like, I felt sad that we would never get to see these actors play these characters ever again. But they appear in the third film, and we can just hope that he, they both go insane and mimic their characters. And that's going to be the story for the third film. Because I just, I really want to see these two actors play these characters one last time. Because they, they're just, they're so good in their roles, I think. And yeah, Tom Six is also going to be there. So maybe he might be the villain alone and he'll be putting Lawrence Harvey and Dieter Laser into a centipede along with 498 people. Um, or maybe Dieter Laser and Lawrence Harvey will team up to create a centipede with Tom Six inside the centipede or maybe at the front. Or maybe Tom Six, Lawrence Harvey and Dieter Laser, all three of them will team up to create the centipede. So, you know, it's, it's interesting, I'm, you know, interested in seeing where the hell they're going with this. And the tagline, 100% politically incorrect, that's what was kind of making me think that maybe he's going to be putting his senses into a, a centipede, or maybe his critics into a centipede. 
So yeah, it, it, it seems like interesting. Like it's fun trying to figure out where the hell he's going with this. I can't wait to see the trailer or hear any more information about this. And um, yeah, and also he also said that the third film will begin with the first film. Uh, sorry, the third film will begin with the second film ended. So the first shot of the second film was the last shot of the first film because you show they show the ending of the first film and then the camera pans out to reveal Martin's watching the film on his laptop screen and I'm guessing they're, they're going to do the same for the third film like maybe it'll be at Fright Fest in America or something like the end of the second film will play then the camera will like zoom out to reveal, to reveal. we're watching we're, we're looking at a projector in the cinema or at Fright Fest and like the audience are like cheering and like Tom Six walks out and he's like how do you like the film or something like that? I'm, I'm, I'm expecting the movie to open up something like that. Like an audience watching here in America, like in a cinema or at Fright Fest and Tom Six will step out or something like that. That's how, I, that's how I'm expecting it to end. Uh, well, begin. Like it seems interesting. I can't wait to see that. And finally, um, yeah, so 500 people are going to be making up the centipede. Like I, I thought Tom Six was joking at first. I, I just thought it was a joke. And... Apparently he's not lying, and he he also said 500 plus. So there's more than 500 people gonna be part of the centipede. So I think he's gone for, like the first two films were black comedies. Like they had a lot of like comedic moments. They're like they were certainly horror films, but they, they had a bit of black comedy in there. I think the third film is just going all out with comedy. I mean the idea of 500 people together, sewn together, it's just ridiculous. I mean obviously. The accuracy has gone out the window. Like the second film was over the top, and it was obviously over the top. The food, like with ten people together. And this one's over five hundred people. So it's like, where the hell are they gonna? The villains gonna store these people? Like, what location could hold these people? But I'm guessing it's gonna be like through the streets, and it's gonna be public or something. Like maybe people are volunteering to go in there. I'm just expecting it to be really over the top and cartoony. Like, uh, Tom Six did say this film's going to be a lot different to the second film. Just how the second film was different to the first film, the third film's going to be different to the second and first film. So it's interesting to see where they're going with this. Like, I'm expecting the centipede to be, like, out in the streets, like, in some sort of exterior. And it's going to be, like, people volunteering, like, like, volunteering to be in the centipede or something. I always always wanted to see that in the second film. I was hoping that that would be in the second film. But, like, it's, maybe they'll do in the third film. I don't know. But I'm expecting people to be wanting to be part of it or something. Like, what the hell is going on here? I really want to know. Like, there's no way an interior location could hold all of this. Like, I don't know. Maybe they'll find, like, some place. But I'm expecting it to be taking place outside. Like, is, when I, like, heard there's 500 people, I was kind of imagining, like, a, a long set, like, the centipede going across the whole entire planet and, like, going around the circumference. Like, I know that, like, 500 people isn't enough to cover the circumference of the planet, but I was kind of envisioning it, like going across like a country or something. And yes, I know 500 people is enough to go, isn't enough to go across country. Okay, let's just say like a mile. I'm not sure 500 people cover a mile. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I, that's what I'm kind of imagining, like going through the streets of like some city or something. I'm, I'm just expecting it to be like some sort of national event. Maybe like, I don't know. I don't know what the hell's going on, but I'm expecting like, I, I just don't know what to say. It's just, they're going for some sort of over-the-top cartoony thing. That's what it seems like. Like it, you know, they, it looks like they're going for like a downright comedy film. I'm not sure what's going on here, but it sounds interesting. I can't wait to see what he has in store for this. So, uh, like, I don't know. Like, maybe like the police aren't going to do anything about it. Maybe, maybe like I don't know. It just seems interesting. I just don't know what to think of it. Like, again, after the second film, so I was like, okay, so, so for the second film. There's like 12 or well, 10 people sewn together. So I was like, okay, so he's going for a ridiculous over the top number of people sewn together for the second film. Then I was kind of thinking, okay, so for, for the third film, maybe he's going to go back to three people, a smaller number, and just do some really insane sick stuff with it. But only the three people. Like, I was expecting, okay, he's thrown 10 people together for the second film, make it really over the top and just over the top and just ridiculous. And then go back to realism for the third film and have three people together and do some insanely sick stuff to the three people. But instead he just jumps up from 10 people to 500 people. I just, I'm just really confused. What is he going to do with this? That's really all I have to say. I, I, I just can't wait to see it. Like, I'm really interested in what he's doing with, with this, like 500 people. How the hell are they even going to film this? I just don't understand. 
but yeah, I'm really excited to see it. Um, yeah, that's my first ever update video, that's pretty much all I have to say, and uh, thanks for watching, I hope you found it interesting if you did watch it, and yeah, thanks for watching, see ya.